Hi, welcome to this video on quadratic functions. Let's take a look at our question today. We're told, let f be the function f colon x arrow is equal to 4x squared plus bx plus c. x is an element of r and b and c are an element of z. The points 2, 6 and minus 1, 0 lie on the graph of f as shown in the diagram. In the diagram, we have what's clearly a quadratic function the two points are plotted on it, and we're being asked to find the value of b and the value of c. There are several points that students can take note of. Firstly, the notation f colon x arrow can be changed to a y. Secondly, there are missing numbers in the function, so putting the function equal to zero and trying to solve it as a quadratic with the minus b formula uh, or otherwise is not an option. Much of the mathematical jargon at the beginning of the question can be ignored in the early stages of, quest of the question, specifically x is an element of R and that b and c are an element of z. Next, the words lies on are trigger words for the student. They tell us to sub the points into the function. And finally, the fact that there are two numbers missing indicates that a simultaneous equation will be needed after the substitution. So let's take a look at how to manage this question. We'll begin by changing f colon x arrow into something a little bit more manageable and more familiar. So we're going to from now on use y is equal to 4x squared plus bx plus c. We're going to take our first point which is 2, 6, 2 being the x value, 6 being the y value and we're going to sub it into the equation. So 6 will be equal to 4 times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. A little bit of tidying up and some calculation gives us 6 is equal to 16 plus 2b plus c. To finish off the tidying, minus 10 is equal to 2b plus c. We're going to deal with our second point now. So our second point is minus 1, 0. Again, the x value is minus 1 and the y value is 0. And we're going to sub it into our equation. So 0 is equal to 4 times minus 1 squared, make sure brackets go around that minus 1, plus b times minus 1 plus c. Again, some tidying will give us 0 is equal to 4 minus b plus c. Just so that the two equations that we're going to use are formatted the same way, we'll move that 4 to the left hand side. So minus 4 is equal to minus b plus c. When we've got two equations with two unknowns, that tells us that we're going to have to deal with simultaneous equations. The first thing I think I'll do is I'll reorganise the equations to make them look a little bit more familiar. So I'm going to take the numbers that are currently on the left hand side and I'm going to move them to the right hand side. Once I've got that done, I've got minus b plus c is equal to minus 4, 2b plus c is equal to minus 10. I'm going to multiply the top line by 2. I'm going to double everything on that first equation. So now I have minus 2b plus 2c is equal to minus 8 and my second equation will be 2b plus c is equal to minus 10. Now I'm ready to cancel the b's. Minus 2b plus 2b gives me 0b and I'll disregard that in a moment. 2c plus c gives me 3 and minus 8 minus 10 carefully gives me minus 18. Solving that simple equation I get c is equal to minus 6. I'm now ready to go back and find my b value. To do this I can use either of the two equations at the top of the screen. So I can sub minus 6 into minus 4 equals to minus b plus c or I may choose to use the second which says minus 10 is equal to 2b plus c. For our purposes I'm going to use 2b plus c is equal to minus 10. I'm going to replace c with minus 6. So 2b minus 6 is equal to minus 10. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So 2b is equal to minus 4 and b is equal to minus 2. Don't forget to sub your values b and c into the original equation. So y is equal to 4x squared minus 2x minus 6 and always helpful to convert it back to the way the examiner has given you the question. So f colon x arrow is equal to 4x squared minus 2x minus 6.